Hey everyone, so we got this Froley travel kit and we got it to raise up the mattress to help prevent mildew and mold. So this is going to raise it up a little bit over an inch since we got the travel version. Froley makes a couple different ones depending on how high you want your mattress to be raised up. But it will add extra comfort to it and then prevent the mold from forming under it. So having a truck camper, one of the biggest problems that you can run into is mold. And why is that? Because on the cab over, there's not a whole lot underneath the mattress exposing it to the outside. So on cold nights, the cold air will get make the bottom of the mattress cold and then as we're laying there we'll be warming up the mattress from the top and in between the two you can get condensation so we noticed just a tiny tiny bit of mold starting to form after I guess nine months now mm -hmm. and so we said you know what we might as well jump on this kit while we can and so we're going to show you guys what it's like to put it together and this is the queen size version you can get other sizes depending on what you need so these are the two boxes that the travel kit came in and we're going to be taking them out in a second and assembling them for you guys to see. But let's show you the mold that we found under the mattress. So we just stripped the bed after we made it and it's right down in here. Yeah, so it's, it's probably hard to, hard to see. see, but it's just some little black spots that we noticed and we wanted to do something to help prevent that before it gets any worse. So the system's going to be getting installed on this spot right here. So we'll just call this the pad. Um, so we're going to be building the kit, see how long it takes, pull the mattress off so it's easier to do. And I guess let's get started. So now that we have the mattress off, you can see the mold a little better on here, but it's just a bunch of little black spots in the middle um, of the mattress. So we're just going to start going through the instructions and it looks like that's what it's going to end up looking like right there. Um, there's different colors for different types of support, I guess. So we'll explain a little bit more as we dig into it. All right, so we figured out the first step is that you take these gray pieces and there's arrows. So you want the arrows both to be down and then there's this little clip that you can push in and out. So we want this to be a little more firm, so we're gonna go all the way over. If you want it softer, you'll stay at this one. So this is the part that'll take the longest because it's a little bit finicky. That's why I guess it takes so long, but because you have to go through each individual hole to get to the furthest hole. There we go. Ta -da! So now we're going to have to do this for the whole base, and then we'll start putting other pieces together. So we read the instructions, and we'll show you what each of these parts mean. So these are the base elements. <laughs> They clip together, as you can see right here, and we're going to put that on the whole length of the bed. After we finish assembling all these, these are the springs. So there's two colors. There's a dark blue and there's a light blue. So the light blue is for the shoulder area since these are softer springs. And then the last thing we have are tension clips. So these help with lumbar support and can be put on at any time, even after you know, down the road. This took about 15 minutes to do half of the bed. So that's five rows. We're going to be adding the springs in shortly and we'll show you what that's like. We're going to put the shoulder springs in either the third or fourth row. Otherwise it'll be the dark blue springs for the rest of it. So it took us about 25 minutes to do the bases and the springs for the upper half. Now we're going to work on putting the base elements or the gray ones on the rest of it and then finish up with the springs. So we got the rest of the bottom pieces put together and that took us 40 minutes. 
our fingers definitely hurt um, just punching the holes in together. Also for the last half, um, we put these top pieces in the bottom hole and then we kept the middle ones as three just to make sure it was is long enough. And now we just gotta put on the springs and then we'll put on the tension clips. So Matt went in for ice cream break and I finished getting these springs on. So everything is on except for these tension clips. So I'm gonna read the instructions and see how these go. These tension clips get hooked into these parts. And it's supposed to be good for lumbar support. And yeah, so let's attach these all. All right, so we found out it's easier just to take these off and then put the clips on. Cause yeah, the struggle's real. So it's a lot faster this way. You just snap them in to these four corners and ta-da. So we have our Froley system finally installed. So between taking the mattress off of it and putting it all together, it took just over an hour. So it's not too bad. It's definitely a little tedious and your fingers will definitely be sore by the time you're done. But these are some close up views of it. So you can just see how we did our layout. And we'll put the mattress up in the next clip so you guys can see what it looks like with it on. Gonna have to turn and just make sure it doesn't hit the road. You're good. <laughs> oh, or like, okay. Alright, so we got the mattress up, and this is what it looks like underneath. So there is a little bit of a gap for air to get down in there, um, right here, and just along the outer edges. If you guys have any questions or comments about anything, just shoot them below and we'll try to get them answered as soon as we can. So thanks for watching and we hope you enjoy this video.